Hello Internet, it is I, Dave Foreman, also known as Manorat Matoran, and today we are doing a review of Nui Moko. Nui Moko is my, um, big blue and red T-Rex. Uh, <laughs> there isn't much story to it, uh, I guess you could say it was, it could have been part of the, uh, Bionicle Cannon storyline where they were gonna go to, uh, where they had dinosaurs and uh all that jazz uh sure but uh the long and skinny of it is that it's a big blue and red t-rex <laughs> uh, <laughs> and uh if, if you've uh gone to uh bricks by the bay 2015 you would know that he also likes bubble gum um so yeah uh we'll just get into do a quick spin all right pick him up there's the side there's his back, there's his butt, there's his tail, there's the um, underside. Uh, when I first built the mock, uh, I knew early on that I wanted it to be red and blue. Uh, red being on bottom, blue on top, because the initial spark of inspiration for the mock was just to use the Dragon Bolt head, and then I held the, uh, what, you know, the, the Hero Factory chin piece up to it. I'm like, oh, that looks like a mouth. And I'm like, oh, that's pretty red. And it just happened to be the red one. So I'm like, all right, let's do a blue and red T-Rex. Uh, those are plentiful colors. I have a bunch of both. Um, so I went for that. Um, but the, the difficult thing was I knew the top half was going to be red or blue. And the bottom half was going to be red. So what do I do for the legs? Do I make them entirely... Do I make them entirely red? You know, starting from like here down, or or what? And so the solution I came up with is that the inside of the leg is red, but the outside of the leg is blue. So like it it wraps over, you know wraps around over you know as part of his skin. Um, and I think that worked. I like that. I, uh, it put more blue on the mock, and it it it, it distributed the color a little more. Um, that way it's not purely just like, hey, here's a whole bunch of red and then here's some blue up on top. Uh, that, that whole situation just ended up working out better, I think. Um, so yeah, um, he's fairly poseable. Um, his spine, basically from the start of his head down to his tail, it, it moves side to side very well. Um, you can get a really good, like curvature off of the whole yeah that's about where it... yeah so you can get a nice almost like u-turn going on there and then uh, if i messed with it more i could probably get it even even further but yeah that's for a quick pose that's uh that's about as much as you get but uh, so side to side it moves really well uh, up and down it it has some limited motion up and down but it requires like sliding uh, like sliding this forward and the head you know some parts on the head have to slide uh, and it, it can be done but it's such a pain in the butt that I almost just never bother uh, unless I really 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 want to get a certain pose like that but then the legs, um, that's about as far back as it goes, and then, so he can, he can get into a running pose, you know, like he's chasing down some critter. Uh, leg come forward. So he could, he could probably run after something, but, uh, the legs are pretty straightforward they don't they don't they come out to the side a bit so that you know I can spread out the legs but the legs pretty much move the way they need to um, there's not any wild or crazy motions they can make that uh, other than what they really need uh, the, the arms pretty poseable because it's just some pretty standard joints uh, this this moves pretty pretty wide out but it I generally just keep it like right here bumped up against the uh, the rocky foot and then I just move the uh, the arm accordingly and then it, it moves a little bit more like a shoulder blade 
and then let's see what else. Um, The jaw is pretty poseable too. Um, it can move up and down, and it can move side to side a bit. Uh, but again, it doesn't really need to do anything other than move up and down. <laughs> so yeah. Um, so one of the things that was, like is really cool about this mock that I I really like is early on. Uh, Brienne Sledge made a um, a Kikinalo revamp. Like I, I think she made it like in 2004, 2005. It was it was a while ago, and it had like this tubing down the spine and stuff. And I just thought that was so cool. So when it came time to build this, I I remember that mock, and I'm like, oh right, I love that. And so I incorporated a similar uh, uh, look and feel into here and it just really worked out with the uh, shell pieces it helps keep everything in line and then this runs out up through here and these these just wiggle as they need to uh, to accommodate the posing so that uh, as it moves things wiggle around and aren't rigid and that's one of the the, the great things about hero factory itself is it can provide a very rigid sturdy structure because like this right here is all sturdy it's all nice and rigid and provides you know a lot of solid structure but then like the legs move the the tail moves the neck the neck up here moves it's all very solid but it still moves and that's like that's the best thing about hero factory that uh, in my opinion, Bionicle couldn't even really make work. Is you can get really solid structure with very fluid motion without having to really sacrifice one or the other. And to me, this is like one of my best examples of a CCBS mock, or you know, because because like the internal structure in there, you know, short of ripping everything apart to show you, uh, a lot of stuff in here is CCBS. It's, there's a lot of CCBS bone structure inside this thing. And then the central structure is CCBS here in the, the tail, right there. Uh, in the neck, there's a lot of CCBS and then some bionicle uh, ball joints helping everything move. Um, you can not, you can see some of it here, you know, from the uh, belly, you know, uh, from this view. Um, just in here, the legs, that's all CCBS right there. Uh, I, I think I used like three or four torso pieces up in here, just all chained together to provide the uh, ball joints to to snap the the hips onto. Uh, his hips are connected at one, two three four different po four or five different points you know on just on each leg so that's a great way to get like really solid structure to hold up something heavy like this while still making it posable um and that's you know like if, if there's a lesson to be learned from this mock it's uh chain chain together your ccbs and and you can build some really cool structures out of it um and it still allows for decent detailing. Like this isn't like my most detailed mock ever, but like I was able to use some system to get some greebling in there and, and just really fill in the gaps uh, and just get the shaping the way I wanted it. Um, the, the first version of this mock uh, had different, very, very different legs. Uh, why is your toe sideways? Um, the, the legs were shaped differently, the feet were completely different, um, and I just didn't like it, but when I first built the mock, it, I, I, I kind of just ran out of parts, uh, it's like, crap, I don't have any blue, I don't have any red, uh, I used it all up here, and that's why, like, it transitioned the system a little bit more, um, because I started grabbing just whatever I had in any color. And then later on, I went back and actually filled in uh, more, you know, put in more system like up here in, in the, the neck and try to get it a little more 
throughout the mock, but that's a big reason why it's there on the leg is because uh, when it came time to build that part, I, you know, I was grabbing whatever colors I had. Um, and it helps the shaping too, like it gives a nice muscle structure kind of look, I think. Um, and I just, I generally like blending CCBS, Bionicle, and System. Uh, to me, it's all Lego. I don't make the distinctions really uh, anymore between, oh, this is a system part. I won't use that. Uh, if it's a Lego and it serves my purpose, if it serves my needs, I'll, I'll go for it. Um, and this is a great example uh, of just blending every style of element into a mock that's still, like, even though it's got system on it and it's, like, you know, uh, sprinkled throughout, it's still quintessentially a Bionicle. So, yeah, um, I think that about does it for this review. Um, if you could drop a sub, I would greatly appreciate that, because even though I've had this channel for, like, ever and ever, I am still a, like, it's a new YouTube channel to me, basically. I have, like, 200 subs, so if you could drop a like and a sub, I would greatly appreciate that. Thank you for watching, and have a great